Today on the channel, we got the San Diego Comic-Con 2023 exclusive Kino and Scooter Deluxe Box Set Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for a special unboxing today as today we got the 2023 san diego comic-con neca teenage mutant ninja turtles 2 kino with scooter deluxe box set talk about a mouthful but for all your other ninja turtle needs that are not exclusives make sure you're hitting up entertainment earth use discount code kyle save yourself 10 percent on all in stock items anything over 79 dollars does ship free and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there and of course san diego comic-con 2023 in the rear view mirror and a lot of us are getting our exclusives i did choose not to pick this up and lug this around on the show floor i said I'll do the online order. That's what I did. I finally got this in the mailbox, and here we are today. We got Roy's special delivery is what we have, and a very cool box set was this one. And we're going to go through the box, and we're going to go through the insides, and then we're going to do, of course, the figure. But very, very cool idea. I like what I see here. I love a big pizza box. You guys know I love a pizza, and it does say Roy's. Greenwich Village, Greenwich Village, Greenwich is what I've always heard, but who knows, it could be Greenwich Village, uh, Greenwich Village, home of Bob Dylan and his acoustic guitar back in the day for uh, quite a while, uh, but he does say Kino with Scooter, Roy's, Convention Exclusive, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze, NECA up top there, Kino with Scooter on the side, same thing on the side over there, on the bottom is really, really cool, a little checklist, here's what you get inside the pizza box, uh, and I love how, like, onions isn't marked and stuff. So very, very cool. And then you do get Kino with Scooter there. And then on the back, how about, how cool is that? You got, like, some staining from the pizza box. Just reminds me of Pizza Hut back in the day. You get the box. You'd see those stains on the bottom from the grease and stuff. Just nice, nice attention to detail with this box set. This nice deluxe box. I'm going to keep this in my collection. I'm going to use this to store things. Maybe all my movie turtle stuff will go in here. All my accessory packs, things I'm not using. Just a very cool thing right here. And I did get a size large shirt. That was my bad. I was in such a hurry to check out. I forgot to switch the sizing of the shirt. So uh, usually I'm an extra large, but it depends on the shirt. A large, extra large. I'm somewhere in between the two. Uh, that's kind of the way it goes, though. I'm, I'm not really here for the shirt. I'm here more for the figure. And then speaking of the figure, of course, we got Kino with Scooter. Oh, there we go. We got that in the package. Of course, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 packaging design. There's old Kino, a lot of accessories, and then the scooter. Very fun to get a vehicle here. I am definitely here for this figure. Now, as of right now, this is a convention exclusive. There's no other way to get this set. Uh, apparently, there's going to be a Foot Soldier Kino 2-pack in the future. But no word on if we're getting this solo Kino or this pack or anything. Who knows? We'll see what happens. But if you want this one, I would say you better get this one before it is too late is what I would recommend. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 on the side. There's a little Kino looking like a Kino could look from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. There he is on this side as well. Then on the back, you got some uh, action figure photography, all that kind of fun stuff there. And like I said, we will unbox this on the channel. Stay tuned. Stay tuned to this very video, I guess what I should say. But let's go through the rest of this box here. We do get Roy's Greenwich Village Fast Delivery uh, white t-shirt here. A very cool little memento from the box set. I'm definitely here for this. We get a Roy's keychain. Oh, there it is. A little keychain. Actually, that's quite the big keychain. Not sure exactly what you're going to do with that. Then a big old magnet. I really like the attention to detail on this magnet. Something cool for your refrigerator, no doubt. I have a refrigerator right over here that's a Guitar Amp Marshall refrigerator. It's going to go right on the side of that one. So I do like this thing. And then very, very cool employee of the month, March 1991, Kino. Look at that, March 1991. What a time to be alive that was. Of course, Ernie Reyes Jr. played Kino. Looks just like my buddy Isaiah. Shout out to Isaiah. You're probably not watching this. You don't like action figures. But 
my old buddy Isaiah. Uh, I mentored old Isaiah. I brought him through the years to a little different companies, things like that. But uh, Isaiah is a good guy. And uh, Ernie Reyes Jr. is apparently a stunt double. Who knows? Who knows? But let me take this offline. Let me get Keno and his scooter out of the package. And we'll be back dissecting this NECA San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. All right, I got Kino and his scooter out of the package. Let's start off with the accessories before we dive in on Kino first. Well, let's look at this pizza stuff here. Man, oh man, I'm hungry for pizza now. But we got Roy's Greenwich Village. Of course, this is the pizza box that sits on top of the scooter. We'll show that here in a second. But it's got a little uh, sculpted in little lock there on the side. You got a nice painted Roy's on the top, Roy's on the side, Roy's on the side. Nice hinge over here. And you got three holes in the back so it connects to the scooter. But it opens up just like a box. Very cool. If you don't want to store pizza in here, great for accessories, things like that. A little jewelry box is almost what it looks like here. And then you do get a nice old school pizza delivery driver uh, pizza bag here. Of course, need nice to keep the pizza nice and hot in here. Like that they even have a receipt sculpted in there looking really cool. It does say hot throughout. Just an old school pizza delivery pack right here. I'm sure they still use these. And then inside, very cool. Once again, you get a little cardboard pizza box. So I like this. Like the attention to detail here. You get a pizza box in there. You put it in here. You put it right inside here. It all fits together. A box inside of a box inside of a box. Really do like that. And then this box does fit on the back of the scooter. Now this piece, you just have to slide in underneath the seat. This comes separate, but it is a nice holder here. And then you just fit the three holes in and bam, there it is. You put the pizza on the end of the scooter. So very, very cool display piece. Very cool, neat vehicle. And technically, I think this is our first vehicle in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line from NECA. So pretty cool. We do know we got the turtle wagon, uh, the party wagon coming hopefully later this year from the cartoon side, but uh, this is our first go around the sun here with any kind of a, a vehicle here. And it does look really, really nice. Uh, obviously looks like what it was in the movie. You got the white and black attack throughout a little moped scooter here. It does have a kickstand on the bottom, so that definitely does help, but that moves back and forth. So remember that there. Uh, no real batteries or anything like that. That would have been kind of cool if it lit up and stuff. Obviously that would add to the cost, so we probably don't want that a whole lot, but Definitely two wheels on the moped. Moped, the wheels spin just fine. No issues having these spin. They do roll. As you can see right there, it works really good. Black seat here, white throughout. Nice tread down here where you put your feet, of course. You've got two handles, back and forth, side to side. Plenty of moped movement going on there. you got the visor in the front as well. you got all the lights, all the stuff that you would have on a normal moped. So this definitely works for me. Definitely iconic, of course, is Kino in his moped, as we do know. And beautiful to get this in a pack here for San Diego Comic-Con. Now we're going to dive into Kino. We're going to look at his hands first, I guess. Let's knock those out. And Kino's got two gripping hands, two fists of fury, of course. you got to have those. And then he's got the open, splayed out hands. Uh, I guess you can have him waving to people. He could be using them on the moped if, he, moped if he needs to. So there we go. We got those going on. Now we're going to dive into the heads on old Kino here. First one out of the package is a very kind of happy Kino. Like, I can't believe I'm talking to real turtles. That's kind of how this one looks right there in the head sculpt department. Like I said, it looks just like my buddy Isaiah. You don't know Isaiah, but I see this and say, man, this is my buddy Isaiah. Uh, just absolutely crazy there. Get the long kind of 90s hair going on here. Just definitely a 90s hairdo on this one. Not a, Nothing against it, of course. Nice teeth showing. Definitely a good likeness to Ernie Reyes Jr. Looks like Kino all day long to me. Second head here, very similar. Same hair, same kind of thing going on there. Teeth showing once again. Not as smiley, more of just kind of a caught in mid-sentence type thing. Like the guy said there was no tip. And he's like, huh? No tip? Huh? Huh? That's kind of what it reminds me of right there. But big eyes on both of these ones here. Definitely cool. Would have liked to seen a totally different head sculpt. Uh, they are different, but you could have made them a lot more different, I do feel. But it is what it is. You're only going to use one anyways, I guess, at the end of the day. So Kino, though, looking like Kino. He's got his red uh, Roy's Pizza jacket on, the red and white going on, looking really nice. Got jeans there, of course. Black shoes. And that's about it. Pretty plain Jane. It is a pizza driver. However, as usual with these NECA toys, you can always mix these in other figure feds, any toy stuff. You got a wrestling setup. He could be a guy in the crowd. This moped you could use for other toy lines probably if you wanted to. I got my figure right here. There's old Cowboy Kyle. I mean, I could hop on this moped if I needed to. If there was no other uh, way to get out of town, Kyle's taking the moped. I'm taking the moped out of here. Getting out of here fast. That's what we're going to do. So you could use this for other toy lines if you really wanted to. Uh, it'll definitely work. Maybe it might be a little too big or small depending, but I think you can smoke and mirrors it to make it happen. 
Uh, but definitely it does work good for Kino. And we do know Kino played, uh, I think, well, wasn't it Donatello in the movie as well? So uh, that's kind of a neat feature there for the movie, as we do know. But definitely uh, Kino looking good, looking like Kino. His arm's going to go all the way around for us. Get the bend in the elbows. No side to side too much there, but straight up and down, single jointed. Hands back and forth, side to side. Of course, hands removable on this one. Head removable. Head side to side, back and forth. Very tight head on him. Forgot to mention the black undershirt there going on. Uh, no ab crunch, anything like that. You do get side to side at the old waist. Get a little bit of those Kino splits there. Just a little bit. No thigh cut. Double jointed knees on Kino, though. That looks good and feels good. Then you get the ankles back and forth, side to side. Is he going to fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use this Kenko Kyle. Save 10%. Make sure you get the Mattel stands. What do you know? Kino fits on a stand just perfectly right there. He's ready to take on the world if he needs to. And he doesn't really need to. He just needs to deliver some pizza to the world. Or join up as a foot soldier. Whatever he wants to do. But we're going to try to put him on this bike here. Of course, the gripping hands will help uh, kind of stabilize him a little bit. But he will fit on here if you can keep, if you can keep the stand going. But there we are. Can I get him just, just for a little bit here? Well, I mean, that stand wants to move pretty easily. There we go. We got him kind of lounging on there, but he will fit. Play around with it a little bit. Get some tightness with the gripping hands on the handlebars. He'll fit on there perfectly. Of course, Donatello's here to help out, to supervise, and kind of see these guys side by side. As we know, like I said, he was Donatello. He was the stunt double there. Uh, so about the same size. He was about turtle sized, I guess, back at this time. Uh, just crazy, crazy to get Kino here. And a lot of people were wanting Kino for a heck of a long time. We're wondering what was it going to take to get us a Kino. Well, here we are in 2023, and Kino rides again in a lot of ways. He's got his moped scooter here for us. So very cool to get this Kino. A very cool exclusive. A lot of bells and whistles with this one. A very fun exclusive for San Diego Comic-Con 2023 is this Kino. Just hopefully everybody that wants one can get one of these. Like I did say, there's going to be a foot soldier training Kino later on uh, in the future, maybe 2024 from NECA. So that's another chance to get Kino. But as of right now, this is the only time you're going to be able to get this Kino pack. So you might want to be going over to NECA's site if they still have some left. If they don't have any left, you're looking at eBay and third party and other company sites uh, to try to get this one. That's not always the easiest task, as we do know. But there it is. There's old Kino, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. What are your guys' thoughts? Pick this one up. Was it a pass? Playing the long game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. we got videos every single day, and we got even more content, including early access to videos over on the Patreon. And Patreon, of course, your best way to support this channel and all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel over there at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson, and don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on Twitter. Or X, or X, hard to get used to. Instagram and threads, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Kino Box Set, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.